As far as I can remember, Quake was the first FPS I played. I also remember being really bad at the game, since I didn't know how to save, which might have been a problem for, you know, Quake. Quake 2 is quite a different beast of a game. It's less pure in experience compared to the original game. But that's perfectly fine. Quake 2 is a fantastic title all around. It's another gem in the crown of 90s FPS's which is delicately placed on the head of each software. The plot is minimal. You play as yet another lone wolf badass on the Strog home world. The Strog are an alien cyborg hybrid species that basically capture existing life forms and turn them into mindless robotic warriors that you'll be fighting in the game. You are part of an attack force from Earth that obviously failed and it's down to you to clean house or clean planet if you will. The idea of the Strog was obviously lifted from the Borg from Star Trek, in concept and appearance, and that's fine since the Borg were mean SOBs. The game is definitely less linear than in Quake 1. The game is broken into different stages that you move through by completing a main objective, with various sub-objectives for each level. This has you go through a level to flip a switch, only to backtrack to a prior one to gain access to another level. So you might have to destroy a generator, but it's guarded by a force field so you might need to go to a separate level to disable it. Occasionally, you might even need a key from another level to deactivate the force field, but that's as complicated as it gets. But it's still a linear game at heart. There's no puzzles or multiple ways to complete the objectives. You can view what needs to be done, but it always boils down to picking up an item or pressing a few switches. Going between levels is a non-problem since the enemies don't respawn, though this does lead to a stretches of time where you're not shooting anything, which can be a bit boring. You probably already know this, but Quake 2 is a fun game, and I think that's because it's much more forgiving than Quake 1. Far more weapons, plentiful supply of ammo and health, means you're always good to go. This makes the game far easier to play, maybe even casual for someone familiar with id games, and the enemies and the environments really do help this. The levels are far, far bigger in space, and a lot less enclosed and cramped. The very maze-like levels in Quake could be a pain navigating. Quake 2 is faster, and there's less where the hell do I go moments. Even though you will backtrack occasionally, you know where you're backtracking to. This definitely improves the game's overall pace in nearly every regard. The enemies are far less aggressive and jumpy, almost passive sometimes. No leaping imps here, but we do have an upgraded ogre. These guys now have a machine gun, a grenade launch that spills out a flurry of explosives that hurt a lot. The physics of them are a bit off. They're a lot less clear cut than in Quake's 1 variant, but that might just be me. Some of the opposition you'll encounter can be disappointingly easy. Your weapons are extremely powerful, especially the railgun, which hits like a freight train. The chain gun you get early on does a good enough job at ripping through your opponents with ease. Something that's first for an id game is allowing you to pick up and store items, similar to Blood and Duke Nukem. But this can make things really unbalanced since you can store power-ups like quad damage. So if you're going up against a boss or a bunch of tough bastards, turn on quad damage and see the gibbs fly. Honestly, there is very little to complain about in Quake 2. The shooting is simple, yet really satisfying and fun, and does require a level of skill to get through the tougher encounters. Mowing down a corridor of enemies always leaves me enthralled, wanting more. Quake 2's engine was a milestone in graphics, but it really doesn't look too appealing. The orange, brown, and red levels all kind of blur together that make stages not all that memorable. It's a total step back from the moody gothic buildings and interiors from the first game. But I will never ever bash the truly badass soundtrack. I love everything about it. It's one of the few I can sit back and listen to on my iPod. It has a lot more in common with Doom's soundtrack, notably the first episode, and it carries the game from beginning to end on a non-stop heavy metal thrill ride. Simply put, Quake 2 is a great shooter. It plays like a shooter, feels like a shooter, and works like a shooter. It has surprisingly good compatibility with Windows 7, though you need a patch to get the music to play in-game. There's not much of an excuse to not play any of the Quakes in your life. Hell, the PlayStation version is actually worth playing. That's something, I think.